This is Sean Hollister with The Verge, and I'm here at Maker Fair taking a look at Cast AR, a pair of prototype augmented reality glasses built by a spin-off of Valve Corporation. But today, I'm playing with this infrared wand, picking off blocks from these Jenga-like towers in 3D. This is happening right in front of me on a retro-reflective surface. There's a pair of projectors on these glasses that are sending light towards the surface, it's bouncing back towards each of my eyes, happening at 120 hertz, so that it's smooth and fluid in three dimensions. And I can, I can just walk around this and look at it from different angles because there's infrared, infrared LEDs built into the surface as well, and a camera right on top of the glasses. So it detects exactly where I am. So now we're going to take a look at a demo of augmented reality with real world objects. I can put in these little bitty cards in the game and have them grow up and become Team Fortress 2 characters. And now we've got the Scout and the Heavy from Team Fortress 2 fighting each other. The cards use RFID chips inside and interact with a coil beneath the base to, so you can tell when they're on the right position, when they're on the right spot to bring these characters to life in the virtual world. So here we have a couple of pairs of these glasses here because we're going to play a multiplayer game. And now we're going to begin Zombie, King of the Hill, Capture the Flag. Both of us are looking at the retroreflective surface simultaneously, but because of the way it reflects the light, we can actually both see independent images at the same time. Each have our own 3D perspective on the game. Um, our objective, I think, is to try to kill the zombies and hold on to the flag, but I'm pretty sure Jerry just shot me. So right now we've got a very rudimentary retro-reflective surface in front of us. It's held together with tape, and it's just a small, uh, small area for a couple people to have a, a nice, intimate game of Capture the Flag, King of the Hill Zombies together. But you can imagine much more grand things with more players and, uh, and, and more of the uh, surface, and a higher quality surface as well. If you place the surface on the walls of a room, and brought some friends over. You could have an entire uh, virtual reality experience around you. Every, uh, every wall you look at could be part of the game as you, as you turn around. Technical Illusions is targeting a sub $200 price for the starter kit, which they plan to raise funds for on Kickstarter starting in late summer and early fall. As you can see, it's a fairly hefty pair of wired PC goggles, but they've got some grand plans down the road. The Technical Illusions team just showed me a prototype with the projectors built into the frames of the glasses, and they'd like to connect it to smartphones soon.